Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Louisville Cardinals and the Boston College Eagles. Tonight, we really have an interesting matchup at the point guard position. Number four is a great leader out on the floor for his team. On the other side, we've also got a great leader out on the floor. This will be a great matchup to track throughout the night. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. The Eagles are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. First of all, hey, disrupt the rhythm of their outside shooters. Don't let them just catch the ball and shoot. Get right up on them. Next, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. Third, get your man on your hip after the shot. Block out and get after those boards. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Trying to feed inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Controlling the ball. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. it in. Number 32 receives the ball. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. <laughs> Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Get it to the inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the long pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He throws it up from downtown. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Trying to go inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Didn't like what he saw on the post and reverses the ball. And up, and it goes in. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Watch this again. Steel, go up the other way, get a layup. Nice little jam right there, the one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And it takes some flight on the defensive end. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. They work it around the perimeter. Pump fakes. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. So we get another look.
bring it up. Turnover City, though, always near the gate. Any offense. For two, he drains it. That's a seven zip run. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. And they get the turnover. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from left of the circle. You betcha. Joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Tempo of the game is really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. On the outside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> Time for the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Boy, terrible execution on offense. for two. Can't get the shot to go. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Defensively down on the low block and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating reading the offense and making that steal. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. The skip pass is picked off. Buchanan receives the pass. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Donaldson is feeling good. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. He shoots from left of the circle. the pass tries to draw the charge and even he has to smile about this one I tell you kidding me that's one of the great acting jobs of all time get him an Oscar fakes the shot he looks for three no for the bucket he puts it in with contact and all Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Point range. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Picks off the lazy pass. Job defensively, they just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball, showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. And off the mark. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all.
He steps up to the line. Hits the first shot. How's he working him defensively? I tell you, try to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help stop. Here's a double team. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Wait a minute. Let's replay that one. to our player matchup. It's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of shot opportunities. He seems to be making the most of it tonight. All right, thanks, Aaron. Stolen away. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. The ball goes out of play. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. BC was a new addition to the ACC in 2005. They've been in the Big East since 79. I think the school was off the opportunity and jumped at it. Steals a pass. with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting that spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin there they come with a double team to stop it stolen both teams are looking to get something going here. Looking for a good shot. They work the perimeter. He uses the shot fake. Goes up for two. Boston College have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Definitely a foul. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. They work it back to the outside. They work it around the arc. He goes for three. He hits it. They scored seven in a row. away the pass. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. And he'll kick it back outside. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc.
action's ready to start again. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. That's 12 unanswered. Mason. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys were reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. On the dribble, gives it up. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribble and act here and turns it over. The ball goes out of bounds. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. There's a double team waiting there. Good job defensively. Two. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Boston College are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Kicks it out. Gave it up. There's the trap. Up. Easy one. Team now, bad angle. Stolen away. It's a fast break possibility. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. to take it away. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The Cardinals are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He hits his first. He makes it. Gets the third shot. Gives it up. Steals the ball. Tries for two. And he missed. Intercepted. And a slam. Double team. Robs him of the ball. There's a high screen. He wants a three. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He intercepts it. Gave it up. With a bucket. 
Great play to take that to the basket. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Number 32 makes the shot. Executes the baby hook. Doesn't go. Coming inside. Entry pass in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Watch out, Nick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. The pressure that basketball will help one another communicate. And the ball goes out of bounds. court. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Boston Conley have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Moving it around the perimeter. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. There's the fake. Fakes a jumper. Right in the circle. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Right in the circle. It's good. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? And now the fadeaway jumper. I tell you, you'll be exceptional to make that shot. Because a lot of coaches don't like it because you're going away. You're not in rebound position. You better make it count. Thinks about the shot from the baseline. That's good. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Tries for two. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Way off target. He had to hurry that one. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. At the half, the Eagles lead by nine. What have you got for us is our EA Sports play of the half. The senior leader made a big statement as he hit the shot to end the half. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Boston College had an awesome first half shooting the ball, Dick. Can we expect more of that in the second half, you think? Hey, with the composure they're showing on the floor, Brad, I wouldn't doubt it. This
this is a very methodical team. Yeah, two great players now heading into the second half. We watched them through the first half, and they played it pretty dead even. We'll see what happens here in the second half. I tell you what, not making mistakes, and both are doing a great job getting to the free throw line. I think that's been essential in their converting on the line. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Louisville was a longtime member, of course, of Conference USA. Made the jump to the Big East not that long ago. Hey, I don't want to say that the Big East is the better conference, but they do garner that additional attention as a Big East school. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. With the jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the outside, takes the pass in the paint, goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. He attempts the trifecta, tickles a twine. The Eagles are ahead by eight. Got a nice screen. Time to pick up the defense here now. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Perfectly executed. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From the top of the key. There was no doubt about that one. We didn't see that again, Brad. In the paint. On the dribble, gives it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The Eagles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Basket's good, and he got a little charity for his effort. Hey, he did a good job of keeping himself under control despite the foul. Jones steps to the line for the first time. He got it. away with it. They get out on the break. And the jam. 
Down to the air. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Tries for two. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter run. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, the good block out. And that's essentially the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. He gets it to go. Picks off the pass. With a bucket, in and out. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That's a 7-0 run. Takes the shot. He is just lighting it up. Dude. He's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Dribble gives it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. There's the trap. They work the perimeter. The crowd loves this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Goes up for two. Gets it to fall. Moving it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. He's got a high post flasher on the outside. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Steals the ball. Jones goes for the aggressive steal from the tightly guarded position. In addition to the pressure defense, they're going for some aggressive steals as well. Steals a pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Work it around the arc. Shots there if he wants it. There they come with a double team to stop it. I think they're trying to make a statement. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, before the game, both coaches and players said they were looking forward to tonight's matchup. Whose weaknesses will be exposed and who will really step up, guys? Thanks, Aaron. Knocks it down. And the fans are going wild. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. 
That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The ball goes out of play. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Only the replay can do this justice. Defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. The Eagles are down by four. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Perfectly executed. ACC, one of my favorite conferences. Year in and year out, one of the most competitive conferences as well, Dick. Hey, witnessing some good old ACC basketball here. These ACC teams are known for their up-tempo, fast-paced, and aggressive style of play. Very difficult to keep up with them. There's the pick. There's the roll. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. But that defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. The ball goes out of bounds. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion. What an edge for the home team. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They're working around the perimeter. And he'll kick it back outside. On the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Got a man in high post. Takes away the pass. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Boston College are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Goes up for two. And off the mark. They keep forcing them to sit up in a half court. Got the high pick. Fires away. He buries it. That's a 7 nothing run. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Number 32 is charged with the foul. Third personal foul. They will line them up. He sinks it. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. circle way off target Dickie's really sticking to his man defensively down there I tell you doing a great job fronting him trying to beat him to the spot playing in front and 
looking to throw the long pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Entry pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Take the shot. Makes the shot. With a jump hook. Can't get the shot to drop. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Louisville is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. In the paint. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Picked off. Easy bucket coming here. It's good. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified. It could be the difference between a win or a loss. Got it. Moving it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. He said, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. Spin move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Let us show you the replay on that one. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. The lane. to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass goes up for two he hits the tough shot I'll tell you nothing to do with ease Brad gave it up he takes the three he drains it Great defense. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Accepted. On the dribble, gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Let's see the replay. for two. Easy one. Let me hear you say replay, baby.
Tries to get the D to bite. Kicks it out. Up fake. He shoots from right of the circle. Tickles the twine. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Steals the pass. They work the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the pass. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them. The shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the top of the circle. He drills it from beyond the arc. Gave it up. Pushing that basketball. Robs him of the ball. Timeout's been called. Let's check in with Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Well, I think she's right about that, Richie. Might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Dick, six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestler, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. Double team now, Matt Angler. He gets it to go. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. He intercepts it. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Makes the second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Kicks it out. He fires from long range. You bet. Let's get another look, Brad. Mm -hmm. 
Shot clock is dead. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing, they're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. for anything if you're the opposition. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Full house. And a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. With the free one. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Hits the second shot. They need a basket here to turn this into a one possession game. change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. The Eagles have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. the first. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Gets the second shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting team seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Goes for the deep one. He gets it to fall. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. If you want to know how aggressive the team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Misses the second shot. Time out. Hey, these kids are driving me crazy, Brad. This game is too close. I'm starting to sweat, baby. Oh, the pressure. Just about ready for play to resume. This is the big time. Dick, you know, it's always great to look back and see how the marquee matchup is played out. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. That's great to watch individually. But remember, this is a team game, so it's really how the team responds as a unit. Boston College loses in a well-fought match. It's tough to lose such a close game, but these kids can hold their heads up high with the effort they put forth. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.